talking about uh, how dense the bugs provide the omnichannel customer experience. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Mia. She's a beautiful and young woman living in Denmark. She just married and now waiting for her first baby. Together with her husband, they are looking for a new house for their growing family. She is so happy and thrilled, but anxious at the same time. She does not know how to raise a kid. She does not know how to get a loan for the house. <sighs> With the first instance, we can't really help her much as a bank. However, with the second, <coughs> we can. How can we do it? At the very first day, when Mia starts searching for, for the information about the loan, he Googles in the internet and she visits uh, the website of her bank, the Danske Bank. She clicks on some pages and gets lost. Even if information is quite clearly defined there, she's not used to it and closes her laptop. Fortunately, just in a few moments, she receives a push notification from the bank with exact that bit of information that she needed. She is happy. She knows what to do now. She books a meeting with the bank's advisor directly from the app. When she agrees on the mortgage, she gets a personalized email with a insur house <coughs> insurance proposal that again perfectly meets her needs. Mia is very happy. It seems that uh, she really has a bank that understands her. And all she needs to do is to sign. We did our job. We helped Mia to get a house. The only thing she needs to take care about now is her baby. <laughs> 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 it's so nice to be able to help our customers, right? And so rewarding. Is it easy to do that? Not exactly. In order to be able to communicate with me in such a flawless way, First of all, you need to understand her needs and preferred ways of communication in a great details, right? It means that, as Chris mentioned before, you need to listen for the customer in various digital channels all over the internet. And uh, from all this data, make an integrated customer profile, understand customer journey. When you have this in place, you need to have business intelligence tools that are able to make uh, uh, insights from this data uh, and the real-time decisions uh, to whom, at what time, uh, through which channel, what content to deliver. <coughs> and don't forget the content management systems where marketers create all this beautiful uh, marketing content that must uh, look great uh, in mobile apps uh, in, uh, in mobile devices as it looks uh, on a desktop. So for me, it's a really great experience, but for us, a super difficult job. But it's worth to do that. Based on some research, 90% of your business success depends on how good you understand your customers and how well you communicate with them via the digital channels. Uh, in the market, we have such players as uh, Google, Amazon, and they are doing it really great. And it doesn't matter that you are working in the other industry. In customer eyes, you are just another service provider for them. So they expect exactly the same from you as they get from them. So a key to your business success is to master this omnichannel communication. <coughs> 
And as I was introduced, I, I am Inga, the head of uh, digital marketing solutions in Danske Bank. And uh, our bank's vision is to be recognized as the most trusted financial partner. And my unit is uh, contributing to that vision by working on the technologies that makes uh, the customer stories as me as a reality. And even if we understand the importance of, uh, of this, and really in the last years we put a lot of effort to it, we still face uh, a lot of challenges in our way to this, uh, in our journey uh, to our customer centricity. And today I'm going to tell you about one of these challenges that we had and uh, how Sitecore helped us uh, to improve. So to wrap your head around, let me take you on a journey where I will explain you how we get to this challenge and what solution we have built. So 10 years ago, we were communicating with our customers in the branch. It was quite easy to be customer-centric at that time, right? And then digital channels started to appear. We built one channel and selected the content management system that was best for that channel. Then we established communication in the other channel and again choose another content management system that looked the best for that channel. We were not looking far ahead, unfortunately. So at the end we had, we were communicating with our customers in 10 different channels and all of them were served by different content management systems. Content in these channels were served from different content management systems. I think you can imagine what kind of challenges this kind of setup brings. And it, it actually became a roadblock for our daily work, for our communication with the customers. We can look at these challenges from three perspectives. Customers. As we just talked, customers are really demanding these days. They go from one digital channel to another, yet they expect uh, content to be beautifully displayed on <coughs> their mobile or desktop, wherever they are. Moreover, they expect you will communicate with them via the channels that they prefer. And what do the marketers do when they have such a setup like ours and such a high expectations from the customers? Usually, um, and sadly, they do not choose uh, channels uh, through that customers prefer. Instead of that, they choose the channels that it's easy to work with, and it means that we lose a lot of opportunities to meet the customer needs. Of course, they can go another way, go to all these content management systems that we have, create all this content, put a lot of effort to it. But as it is a major work and very time consuming, uh, human mistakes occurs, content quality drops. So both ways are bad. It's either poor quality or a lack of communication. Marketer's perspective. Number of channels are growing and uh, amount of the number of marketers and communication analysts are also growing every year. And by using all these tools, they just started to waste uh, too much time for trainings, how to use them, for setting up the content, doing the copy paste, rework, um, doing the handovers between the different roles and, and so on. They started to call their work as a monkey job and some of them even quit. They said, we don't want to do that. We want to deliver great content for the customers and focus on the quality instead of just learning how to use the tools and, and doing the copy pastes. From IT perspective, this setup also caused a lot of uh, challenges. One of the biggest ones for us was uh, that we were always late to market. For us, it took uh, several months to build a new channel to establish communication capabilities there. And of course, uh, for all these systems to maintain, you need a variety of skills, and uh, it results to increasing running costs every year. 
<clears throat> so again, just to recap, all this authentic communication that I was talking about that we are striving for was lost in this uh, difficult technological solution that we had, set up that we had. So it was our reality for quite a long time. And for most of us, it was uh, a really big fear. And we understood that uh, omnichannel communication is vital, yet it was uh, really difficult to achieve. So what we did, we built a custom user interface on top of the Sidecore platform. And uh, this new system allows us to, uh, allows our marketers to create uh, a digital marketing content for various kinds of channels, like uh, push notifications, uh, mobile app messages, uh, emails, web messages, and so on. Would you like to see how our tool looks like? <laughs> Uh, we will come to it, but uh, now I'm quite sure that at least some of you here has uh, one question in your mind. Uh, why, why you've chosen to build a tool, right? If there are so many tools in the market that you just can grab and, uh, and use it. So before going to, to the sy system details, I would like to cover that question. So when we recognized this uh, growing challenge, uh, we, <coughs> we had long meetings, discussed what we need, what is the problem. When it was clear what, uh, what is required, we started to look for, for the tool in the market. We said, for sure, we don't want to build something ourselves. That makes no sense, that's time consuming, that costs a lot. So we just uh, have to find the best vendor. We selected 19 vendors for the analysis, shortlisted 10 of them, and had a really long workshops with all of them. I remember that times. <laughs> so we talked with these 10 vendors, but uh, no one fit actually our needs perfectly. And then we searched a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more again, and still found none. And then we came up with a solution that uh, surprised, surprised most of us. Imagine that you are looking for a house for your family. And there are 19 houses like this in the market. These are amazing castles with a lot of rooms in it. Whatever you can imagine, hair pet, uh, pet haircut salon, um, professional kitchen, a restaurant, cinema, whatever you can imagine. Even if you have the money, would you buy such a house for your family? And if you would, how long it would take for you to learn use all these two, uh, rooms? And how much it would cost for you to maintain all that? So this was exactly the feeling that we had when we <coughs> were searching for, for the tool to purchase in the market. So we have decided to build our own house, a simple one that perfectly meet our needs. And now you are invited to visit our house. There are three rooms in our marketing house. The first room is the sidecore room. This is where marketers gather to create the beautiful content for the digital channels. Second room is a SaaS room. This is where the campaign execution happens. And in the third room, we gather together to discuss, uh, to see the insights of our campaigns and discuss uh, the results and measure success of our marketing campaign. It's called Tableau. Let's have a closer look at it. As we already touched a little, Sidecore OCM, this is uh, the name that we gave for, for our uh, tool that we built, is a tool <coughs> for marketers. Here we set up the campaigns and create the beautiful content uh, that will later be sent out to various digital channels. When this is done, 
then analysts are working in the SaaS platform, that's a business intelligence platform, that allows to make the decisions to whom, at what time, which content to deliver. Of course, in order for SaaS to be able to make smart decisions real time, we need, uh, we need and we, we have a data mart where we store all this customer data that we collect from various digital channels. We also have the analytical environment where we build the decision models and from the data that we have, we get the insights and the new data out of it. Of course, we also collect uh, all the responses and customer actions, uh, what they did with our uh, content delivered to the channels. So we know if customer opened our content, uh, if, uh, if get, got interested to it, clicked on some links and, and so on. Based on this dat data, we measure campaign success in Tableau and also can make further decisions based on customer replies to our previous marketing. And now it's time to sneak peek to what we've built. Let's start with, uh, let's create some campaign, all right? Here on the right, you can see uh, a screenshot from the Sitecore CM, the tool that we've built. Uh, for those who are familiar with Sitecore, it can look a little bit strange that uh, it's not really a Sitecore, right? It looks much different. But it is Sitecore, just with a design put on top of it in order to make it <coughs> extremely user-friendly <coughs> and um, fully tailored for our needs. So let's start. I log into the tool here and create a campaign. Here I can select all the parameters for my campaign, define the unit or market where it will be launched, name my campaign, select the purpose category and the objectives. Assign people responsible for the campaign. <coughs> now when my campaign is ready, I can add as many target groups as I want to that campaign. So I select the language in which this target group is speaking, name my target group and define the selections and deselections for it. Also choose the channels through which I want to communicate with this specific target group. Here I can select the start date and end date, when my campaign will be launched, and all other details required. I can add another target group that speaks in a different language or has some other selections and deselections, and that the channels that this target group prefers to, to get the communication through. Libraries. It is important to ensure that uh, it's uh, not time consuming to create the content, right? So for that, in order to um, <coughs> improve this process, we have created several libraries in our tool. Let's have a look at this. First library is a media library where we can access uh, all our Danske Bank photos. Here is the links library where we store <coughs> various kinds of links to the videos, phone numbers, uh, mobile bank app functions, and so on. And finally, a merge tag library that allows us to easily personalize our content because we really don't want to send unpersonalized messages for our customers, right? It's super easy to add uh, new content to the libraries, to upload new pictures, or even to do the edit of the picture, to resize, crop, and uh, this is familiar view, right? <laughs> Are you ready to create some content? Let's start from the email. I fill in all the broadcast details and start working with my content. You can see a menu on the left that is full of predefined models based on our CVI guidelines. 
it means that uh, a marketer can just easily pick the model they, they want uh, in, the, in the segments that is needed and do whatever design for, for the email. And the good thing here is that uh, our emails uh, look, uh, are consistent not only across, uh, across the country, but also across all the countries, because uh, this tool is used by several countries, by all the Nordics, uh, and these predefined model, uh, modules ensure that um, content is consistent, that marketer does not do just what they like, but do something what is required. Let's pick one more channel. That is a district channel, our uh, e-banking for corporates and institutions and business customers. You can see that the process of content creation in another channel is exactly the same as it was in the first. So for marketers, it's super easy. Once you learn using one channel, you are ready to work with the rest. <coughs> and while you build your content, you can preview how it will look like at the end channel. So it's also a huge advantage for you to have a clear picture of what customer will get. We are all talking about the mobile today. So let's see how the mobile messages are created in this tool. Here we have a place to define the push notification. And exactly in the same <coughs> way as we were creating a content for other channels, we build uh, a messages for the mobile bank app. We have several models to select from. We can add pictures, we can add uh, videos, uh, text, disclaimers, and uh, various kind of other components. Again, I can see how my content will look like on mobile device. I can also add various kind of call to actions to, in order to route customer to other pages that, that is required. And this is the final preview where I can see how my message will look like in every screen <coughs> when where it will appear. <coughs> Moreover, I can jump in between all the contents under the same campaign just to finalize to see if it looks good in every channel and if it is consistent across all the channels. A B testing. A very important thing for the marketers, right? Everyone does that. I remember with other tools when we were doing A-B testing, first of all, we create one version of the content and then there is no something like a copy or, or, or similar. So we had just to create once again another similar content just with some other different, uh, with some details that are different. So it was a huge work for us to prepare several versions of the content. And now you should watch carefully because uh, with the Sidecore CM, this A-B testing takes uh, just a few seconds. We have a version A. We click on the split test and we get a version B. Exactly the same as a version A. We can just go into it, change some details as we want and have it ready for use. Content rendering test. As we talked, customers are using a lot of devices these day. So it is, it's not enough to just to prepare the content and send it out. Before doing that, we need to ensure that our content looks great in all the devices, all the clients, browsers, and, and so on. So that's why we do the rendering test, and we do it in this way. Here we have the email content prepared. We send it out directly from Psycho CM to Litmus. <coughs> And just in some seconds, it appears here. And we see how it will look like in Outlook, on iPad, iPhone, and uh, any other place.
When content is ready and uh, fully tested, we are ready to send it out. We just click on the button to send it, waiting for the response from the channel. And if all is fine with our content, it's approved and uh, ready to be used. Sometimes it happens that we send out the content and we notice uh, the, the problem, some, some problems in it, right? There is a human mistakes or something that we want to correct. So we can easily pause the content sent out, do the changes required, and send it back again. That's it with the content creation part. Here, marketer's work is finished. And as you saw from this uh, presentation about the house, uh, next room is the SAS room, where we do all the execution, where various decision uh, uh, campaigns are built. And based on these uh, decision campaigns, we decide uh, to whom to deliver that content. And final step is uh, reports in the blog. So we, have, uh, we are using three different tools for, for the whole marketing flow. <coughs> so when you have one content management system where you create all your digital content, uh, how do you think what kind of benefits it brings to you? So looking from customer's perspective, it means that customer gets uh, beautiful content that looks good, in the, that is delivered in the channels that they prefer, and that it looks good in the device that they use. The marketers. I remember when we first launched uh, the Sitego CM solution to our marketers. It was 2017, around the Christmas time, and then I got a Christmas gift from my stakeholders, who said, uh, "Inga, you just made uh, 80 marketers happy." <laughs> that was amazing. I don't think I should tell something more about it. It just uh, increases productivity, increases content quality, and uh, just makes the marketer's life easier. <coughs> and from IT perspective, we also had several benefits, but the biggest <coughs> one for us was the increased time to market. Previously, uh, as I mentioned already, uh, it took for us from half a year to a year to build a new channel and communication capabilities there. And now it takes from one month to another. When we already have the platform set up, it's really easy to add the new things here. And while working, while building with uh, this solution, we were working close with uh, Nodes. We had some uh, amazing guys from there. So I would like to invite uh, Chris, who will share with you some more details about it from the other angle. Thanks. Yes, very briefly, um, I just wanted to tell a little bit more of the story behind the app. So the, the Sitecore practice in Nodes um, is responsible for the architecture and building the application based on the specifications from Danske Bank. Um, we have a, a great cooperation with Danske Bank on different projects, and, and this is one of them. And I, what I want to do is just shed a little bit of light on um, uh, some of the business case behind uh, behind this, this, um, this app. So um, I think the couple of the key messages are that the Sitecore platform is actually ideal for building custom applications <coughs> for special, purpose, special <coughs> purposes. And uh, it's not something that Sitecore promotes. Um, it probably is, it does to a degree. But uh, it actually is quite I an ideal platform for building uh, you know, special purpose apps that take advantage of different parts of the, of the system. So Sitecore as a, you know, as a modular system um, enables uh, the modeling of you know, campaigns and A-B testing, channels, uh, and so forth. Of course, the content management is a key aspect to it. And then, of course, there's security and, uh, and user authentication. So in the business case, I think that uh, Inga has also talked about that uh, there's a time to market is, is a real key. So when you calculate the um, uh, the, uh, the the benefit of being faster to market, they really have uh, created a great business case for the for using Sitecore, you know, building in, instead of buying. So I think there's uh, that's just some of the key things that I wanted to talk about from a um, uh, let's say a financial investment point of view. And then um, just want to make the point that uh, where Danske Bank has chosen to use. Um, Different, you know, a combination of different tools, SAS Institute and another type of uh, intelligence tool that's used. Um, 
that uh, there's, it's possible <coughs> to use other parts of the Sitecore platform as well. So um, this concept of creating a, a tool for, uh, uh, at least for app management with regard to um, tracking, triggering, uh, management of, uh, of users, uh, management of content, is part of our connected architecture that, we, that I talked about earlier. And um, this is an example of, of, uh, of how we go about doing that. So that was uh, just a couple, of, a couple of points that I wanted to make um, about uh, the solution. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Inga. And she's <laughs> going to finish up. Yep. So as we talked uh, today, uh, we are already now capable to create a lot of uh, uh, different contents in PsychoCM, and we proceed further with uh, developing this tool. Uh, in uh, quarter one this year, we, will, we are launching uh, uh, ability to create um, um, a content for Danica app, Danica pension app, uh, and also other channels are in the pipeline. And we are also adding various kind of features that uh, makes the marketers uh, work uh, faster and easier when they work with the tool. Questions? I, I just got that name you talked about. <gasps> I hope it looks good. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but it actually, it, me too. it actually it, it looks really good on mobile device. and. Uh, but I was thinking, are you building, so what's going to happen to me next if, you know, if you set up something, so if I'm not reading this mail, or I'm actually pushing out, looking at some of the content here. So as you saw from this slide, um, a sidecore, how we use it, it's uh, quite a, a dummy tool. It's just for the content creation. And then based on what the analyst creates in the SaaS platform, what kind of decision campaigns builds, uh, we can make, um, we can t take various kind of actions. Uh, so when we send out an email to you, uh, we then track what you do with that email. When you click on the link, when you open it, uh, we get the response back to our data mart and SaaS can instantly react based on that. But it depends on if analysts had set up some kind of a campaign for this to, yeah, to take a decision based on that or, or didn't. So it's uh, not something that gets done automatically, something that you have to think through and, uh, and build in, in SES. So I, I have a question. When you're creating uh, in-app messaging um, in the tool, is it possible to drag and drop content? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Chris. <laughs> Different models to choose from, text bubbles, images, videos. You just drag the module and uh, fill all the information that is needed. You can add as many models as you want in the sequence that you need and just build a different